Hey, this is Todd Usher, and today we're talking about inspecting a home with an infrared camera. Today we're using this infrared camera, also called a thermal imaging camera, to do a full inspection of the envelope of this house. We're looking for voids and in insulation, we're looking for potential water leaks, and we can basically tell differences in temperature using this camera that allow us to not truly see through walls, but in effect see what's going on within the wall. This tool that was very expensive technology 10 years ago is now readily available to us and one of the most powerful tools for inspecting the thermal envelope of a home or building. So today in this house, we're doing one of our scheduled full thermal imaging inspections of the home and we've actually found a couple of areas of concern, areas that appear from the thermal imaging camera to be water leaks in the roof. Uh, not major water leaks. So there's one up above me right here on the ceiling and you can't even see a spot yet. There's no stain on the ceiling, there's no spot, but the thermal imaging camera is allowing us to see there's some aberration in temperature on that ceiling that's a cause for concern. So we're gonna come back with our roofing crew and our infrared camera and we're gonna see if we can trace down the possible source to see if there is indeed a water leak or not. Without this thermal camera, we would simply be reacting to the problem, not looking at it from a preventative standpoint. So when we look at walls or building assemblies with a thermal imaging camera, one of the things it allows us to do is to see areas of moisture difference. And in particular, if we have a water leak in a wall or an area that has a higher moisture content, that moisture or water has a higher thermal mass than the building materials around it. So it tends to stay at a different temperature than the rest of the building materials. So the thermal imaging camera, which sees only temperature, can see that moisture in the wall very clearly. It becomes a clear spot or a clear area in the viewfinder of the camera that we know is moisture. If we actually have leaks in the ceiling of this house or in the roof of this house that are coming to the ceiling, without the thermal camera, we would have to wait until that water actually soaked the ceiling and made a brown stain on the ceiling to know that we had a problem. With the camera, we're finding it well before it's caused any damage. We can solve the problem, fix it, and not have any expense for a repair.